Hey, so here's part B continuing on. Yeah, I think he was in rabbinical school. He was teaching the teachers in the temple. And that's the really the only story in the Bible we know about his childhood after being born in Bethlehem and exiled to Egypt. Uh, we find him in the temple at age 12. And that's the story where Mary and Joseph were looking for him. And he was back there teaching the teachers. And so what was going down there? Well, he had completed Bet Sefer for his elementary school education. So he had, you know, from K to, uh, you know, <clears throat> about sixth or seventh grade, if, if you want to put it in those terms, he had done Bet, Se Bet Sefer, which was the study of the written Torah, the law of God as revealed to Moses uh, in the first five books of the Pentateuch. And now he was being evaluated by those teachers in the temple at age 12. He was being evaluated for Bet Midrash, which, of course, he's Jesus. So he passed with flying colors and he would have gone on from there to do rabbinical studies. So all of these Jewish boys had to pass Bet Sefer at a very young age in the elementary school age. And then in the middle school age, they had to pet, pass Bet Midrash to go on uh, to study. So it's kind of like becoming a doctor or a lawyer. There are certain exams and tests you have to pass to go to that next level. Jesus was doing the same thing. And so uh, from, you know, he, he started his, you know, I guess, advanced studies at this point. Uh, and that's what he was doing when they found him there. So I always thought that was kind of cool. Uh, a lot of people think Jesus was a carpenter. Um, I don't think he was. Uh, the Bible never says that he was a carpenter. He was the son of a tecton builder. And, and tecton builder means worker. And in most likely because of the region where they live, it was a more stony region and uh, not, not, a real, not a lot of timber there. So Jesus probably was a stonemason. You know, if, he, if he helped Joseph at all, he helped him with stonemasonry. And it's kind of interesting. He said in Psalm 118, 22, the stone the builders rejected has become the capstone, the cornerstone. And that's indicative of something a stonemason would say. So he probably did help Joseph. He probably did provide for the family by working in that trade. But at the same time, he was like you guys. You know, when you get older, you're going to be working a job and still going to school. A lot of people do that. I think that's what Jesus was doing, too. So he didn't neglect his responsibility to his family, but he stayed on that rabbinical path in school. And I think he did amazing at it. So when you look here on the screen, uh, th this is the example he would have done at age five. He would have been ready for the study of the written law at age 10, uh, the oral Torah. He would have an oral test there. Age 12, that's where we find him in the temple. He completed Bet Sefer. He's, he's doing Bet Midrash. And it's kind of like getting a 36 on the ACT. You know, that's probably what Jesus did. And then he went down that path at age 13. He would have had his Bat Mitzvah. Bat Mitzvah, uh, age 15, he would study the Halakot, which is the rabbinical legal decisions. Uh, at age 18, he was ready for marriage. We know Jesus did not marry, but that was the age they did that. Age 20, uh, deciding whether he would be a wandering rabbi or a temple rabbi. Uh, we know Jesus was a wandering rabbi because he wandered. He went to the seashore. He went to the desert. He went to the wilderness. He went to the temple. He went uh, wherever the common people were, and he preached and taught there. And at age 30, that's where we see, you know, we've been talking about John baptizing Jesus. Jesus was 30 years old when that happened. And John was preparing Jesus for his earthly ministry. So kind of cool. Uh, you know, he, he was on that path and everything the Bible says about him indicates that path. Um, <clears throat> a few of the most outstanding scholars left home to study with a famous sage. It was a sacrifice for the family, kind of like at LCA, but it was the highest honor. So Jesus had a teacher. Uh, Jesus had a uh, Mr. Dudley. Jesus had a Mr. Abernathy. Jesus had a Miss Crossan. Jesus had a Miss Spears. Jesus had a, a Miss Sowers. You know, all these great teachers you guys have at LCA. Jesus had teachers like that, that that loved him and invested in him. He probably had one primary teacher. And, and can you imagine how proud that teacher was uh, when he eventually found out who Jesus is and and what he did? You know, Judy, it, t it just tells you the value of a teacher and it tells you the value of staying in school because Jesus' school path was tremendously uh, necessary and influential for, for what he would do to save us. And so keep all that in mind, the magnitude of the importance of this and be proud to be a student and work hard in your studies because part of what God's purpose in your life is, is school and what you'll learn here and how you're developed here. And so stay in school, study hard. It's part of what God uses, all these great teachers to shape you into who he wants you to be. All right, we'll get part C here in a minute.